Hello and welcome to another in a series of videos about uh, the practical aspects of control systems engineering. In this video we will look at um, uh, control loop again as we did before, at least that's where we'll start. <clears throat> we'll start with the control loop with the components of the control loop, the five components, four blocks and then a summing junction uh, that are the standard um, uh, components in a control loop arranged as shown in this diagram. <clears throat> uh, we have a desired value coming in, an actual value coming out, and then we have these four components, controller, actuator, plant, sensor, and then in addition, the comparator. Uh, in this um, control loop shown on the bottom, I've abbreviated those and given them uh, mathematical names. Uh, uh, the desired value is R, the actual value is C. R stands for reference, uh, C stands for, I'm not sure what C stands for, but C is one of the standard um, uh, variables used to describe the uh, uh, output of the controller. And the components are, are named G, that's the standard universal um, name for a component in a block uh, with the subscript indicating which component that belongs to, the controller, the actuator, the plant, and then also the sensor. Notice that in each of these cases here, whether it be a signal, which is R or C, on an arrow, or a component, which is in a block, they're shown as functions of S. Uh, this is um, a um, um, results from the fact that uh, uh, Laplace transforms are used as a standard uh, solution methodology uh, for dealing with uh, ordinary differential equations and um, control, uh, control and controls engineering. We need not concern ourselves with that uh, here. So now I'm going to start with the uh, control loop as shown on the bottom of the previous slide. Uh, we have our input, uh, like I said, uh, RS, our output CS, uh, and then uh, we also have uh, some signals inside the loop. And the first one that I'd like to describe is uh, we capture the uh, actual value with a sensor, and uh, the sensor produces a, a voltage often um, that is indicative of a speed or a temperature or whatever, and we call that, we give that the letter B as a, as a name, and we call this the, the measured value. Uh, so the next thing that we do in a feedback control loop uh, we see the feedback path here is described in the first slide that was produced for this series. Um, uh, the sensor produces B, the measured value, and is compared with RS, which is the desired value, and produces an, what's called an error. Now, it's not error in the terms uh, in terms of a mistake. It's error in the term in terms of a deviation where the um, measured value deviates from the uh, desired value. Uh, we name that the error. The error goes into the controller, and the controller gets that error and decides what it's going to do, uh, and it produces an output which is called a command to the actuator to tell the actuator to do something to bring the uh, actual value in line with the desired value. The command value goes into the actuator, and the actuator produces a force. The force uh, then goes into the plant, and the plant responds and uh, hopefully moves the uh, actual value in the direction that, in the direction of the desired value. Now um, that term force is used in a very generic sense. It could be an actual force, but it could be a voltage also. It could be a flow, uh, a fluid flow. So it could be any number of things, and we use that we use that in very general sense. Now we can take this loop and also abbreviate it even further get rid of the S's just because it gets to be monotonous to write the S's all the time and simply produce the, um, um, the representation of the control loop that's shown on the bottom of the slide. Notice that I've changed the um, uh, symbol for um, the sensor to H and it's standard to um, name this, the uh, blocks in the feedback path of the controller H rather than G. Again, all of the uh, details of this are contained in the uh, book that I've written, uh, the practical book that I've written about control systems is available uh, 
uh, for twenty-five dollars through the um, um, through notifying me uh, via email. Thank you, and that uh, is uh, that concludes this short video on uh, signals in a control loop. Until next time.